Hi, Joe with Road Lighting. Today we're going to be going over the HD05 remote control. Um, here's what the remote looks like. The nice thing about this remote is we can save all of our programs inside the remote and then be able to go around to our facility and click apply, 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 apply throughout the place without having to reset settings and reset all those pieces. Um, this remote is also nice because it works with several different sensors that we offer as well. Um, so one remote for several different styles of sensor. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do a basic overview of the remote, especially how do you set your settings as well as how do you use those throughout your facility. Okay, the first piece, we're gonna start right here, the red, the red button, on off, okay? Light's currently off, and we're gonna use this, this unit back here to, to show in the demonstration. So light's currently off, we're gonna press the red button. Light's gonna turn on, you can see right there, 100%. I can use the arrow keys to dim down my dimming level of this light that I see here in the back, okay? And you can see it start to dim back there, and then I can hold it down if I want to, and it will dim back up, okay? Back up to the 100%. And then I can use the button to turn it on, turn it off. And really this button is just used to kind of test functionality of the light, okay? Especially if I bought motion sensors, of course I want the motion to control, not necessarily me using the button to turn on, turn off like a light switch, right? All right, you'll notice over here on the side, there's nothing, nothing in these lines. These lines are completely empty, okay? You can see right there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on the scenes. Scenes is how we actually set the settings of our, of our sensors. Now you'll notice every time I press a button on here, because I'm so close to this light, this light is going to change and it's gonna adjust every single time I press one of the buttons. Disregard the motion of the light. We're really just programming the remote right now. Once the remote is programmed, there is in fact a apply button on the remote that we're gonna to use to actually apply those functions into the light itself, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here to scene. And when I press scene, you can see that all of these lines over here on the side, they light up and they become available, okay? Now, once I press scene, in order for me to actually start to program the remote, I have to press the start button, okay? So I'm gonna press start, and you can see there's an S that starts to blink over here on the side. S blinking, okay? What we're gonna do now is we're going to start setting our settings. The very top one is our detection area. Detection area starts to blink, I can press the arrow keys and I can move my detection area down. This is the cone angle that it detects, okay? We're on 100% for the detection area, the largest cone that it has available to it, okay? After we do our detection area, we're gonna do our hold time. Hold time blinking right now. This one will go up to 30 minutes, okay? And this is once it sees motion, how long will the light stay on for at 100% level, okay? So I'm gonna stay on for right now five seconds at the 100% level, okay? Next piece we're gonna go down to is our dim level. Once I, after those five seconds, what am I gonna dim down to? And then how long will I be at that dim level? So right now I'm gonna set it to 10, 10%. And then the last piece here is the standby time. Right now I'm gonna leave the standby time at zero, okay? Just so I can use this for an example. Now here in the middle, once I have all those settings set, here in the middle is memory. I'm gonna press the M for memory and you can see that I'm no longer blinking up here, but now I'm set to M for the memory, all right? 100%, 5, 10, and zero. Now what I wanna do is I wanna use the apply button. You can see the apply button here on the corner. I'm gonna use the apply button to program this, this unit. Now once I press apply, it's gonna instantly activate, and after five seconds, the light will turn off. No dimming, it'll just go from on to off, okay? 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000. Now light turns off and you can see right there, it turns all the way off, no dimming, any of those types of pieces, okay? Now if you want a dimming turn on, of course, I could set that to five seconds, 10 seconds, 30 seconds, whatever I want it to be. If I just want it to turn on when it sees motion, turn on when it sees motions, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, four, 1,000, five, 1,000. Turn off when it's done with that hold time, that's how you can set it. Now if you're like, no, I want it to dim down to a certain level for a certain period of time, then I want it to dim back up, we're gonna come back into our, our remote, we're gonna press the start key again, you can see it blinking right there on the side, the start is blinking, and now I'm gonna adjust my hold time, or my standby, I'm sorry, my standby time, and I'm gonna adjust that one up to 10 seconds. So my total will be 15 seconds now. Five seconds for the on, or hold time, and then 10 seconds for the standby, okay? So once I do that, I wanna save it into memory, press the memory button, save it into memory, I'm no longer blinking over here, I'm now in memory, and then I wanna press the apply, apply button for my light. Apply, okay? 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000. There's the dim, now I'm on. Remember, I was turning on, on to off. 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000, 6, 1,000, 7, 1,000, 8, 1,000, 9, 1,000, 10, 1,000. I think I'm counting a little bit fast, but now I should turn off 
on the light. So you can see right there. So that is because of those functions. You can see 100% detection, 5%, I'm sorry, 5 seconds on, 10% on the dimming level, and then I stay on for 10 seconds after I go down to that dimming level, okay? That is the basic functionality. Now, once I've saved that into memory, once that's in there in that memory, all I have to do is click apply to all my, the rest of my lights. I do not have to reset that every single time I go to light number two, light number three, light number four. I just click apply, 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 apply to all my different lights, okay? That's one of the nice things about the Zero Five remote is it's all saved in its memory. Just click apply. If I go over to the other light and I click scene and click start and whatever, yeah, that'll work but it's a, a waste of time. So just click apply once you have those settings set. Now, if you want your settings to be different for different, um, different sensors, of course, adjust the settings, run the same process, the start, adjust the settings, click memory, and then click apply for that respective, uh, respective light. You'll notice down here on the bottom, there is a uh, daylight sensor. The daylight sensor piece, this is if your sensors have both daylight harvesting as well as motion, that's where you would use that daylight sensor and that's in conjunction with the MWPIR piece. This MWPIR is a button you press and it will automatically configure the light harvesting piece on how much light's currently coming through the window and what it, what it should be kind of set to. And then this piece here is where you can manually, I can manually adjust. If you can see on the bottom, there is actually a, a line for, it's a little bit, uh, the lux right there, it's a little bit um, blurry but the Lux right there is where you can manually set those pieces, okay? Really only if you have daylight harvesting in your sensors. Then the last piece right here is your power percentage. That power percentage is only in conjunction with your on-off. If you wanna set your power percentage automatically for it. The test button right here is a button we use to test here at the factory, okay? Not really something you'd be using out there in the field, um, but that is kind of how it functions. That, those are the functions of the remote. Again, scene, start, set all your functions, memory, apply. Those are the steps you wanna go through to, um, to set your respective sensors. Um, I really appreciate your time. Again, we here at Brill are more than happy to jump on a telephone, uh, telephone call or an email to go over some issues or questions you may be having. Um, but I really appreciate your time today and um, talk to you next time.